Imagine it's 2,000 years ago, early on a Sunday morning, and you were one of Jesus' friends. A few days ago, you watched as Jesus died. He was one of your best friends, the person that you thought had come to change everything and to make the whole world better, and now he's dead. Imagine how you must be feeling. I expect as they headed towards the tomb that early morning, they were feeling really sad and, and just beyond despair really. Fast forward to today and I wonder how many chocolate Easter eggs you've already eaten. Chocolate's wonderful isn't it and it's great to be able to enjoy it at this time of year. But what have chocolate Easter eggs got to do with Jesus dying and how his friends felt about that all that time ago? Well, lots of people just think that chocolate Easter eggs are a lovely sign of spring and the new life that we can see all around us at the moment. I'm outside at the moment and we've got beautiful new shoots growing on the trees, we've got flowers. And one of the things that we notice here is that our chickens start to lay more eggs. I've got some that I collected um, from our chickens this morning. Here they are. And it's really lovely to have lots of fresh eggs. Now we all know, don't we, that the chocolate egg represents the eggs that the chickens lay. Now, if I was to crack this open, we know what's inside, don't we? There is the, the white and that bright yellow yolk that we can enjoy eating. Let's crack it open now and have a look at what's inside the egg. Are you ready? Let's give it a hard crack and, oh! completely empty. Now that wasn't what you were expecting was it? Do you know that took me a bit by surprise, I expect it might have taken you a bit by surprise and that's just a very small example of the sort of surprise that, that maybe Jesus's friends felt when they got to the tomb early on that Easter Sunday morning and found that actually the tomb was empty. Now the Bible tells us that the tomb was empty because Jesus had come back to life and his body wasn't there anymore. It completely took them by surprise. It was so unexpected. But should they have been surprised? You know, Jesus had spent his whole life doing unexpected things. Jesus had healed people who were poorly. He had fed thousands of people with just a few small loaves of bread and a couple of fishes. He had uh, calmed an enormous storm with a few quiet words. He had even raised people f back to life when they had been dead. So were Jesus's friends right to be surprised on that Easter Sunday morning? Now we've heard the story about Jesus coming back to life so many times now that I think sometimes we forget how surprising it must have been for Jesus's friends on that first day. But I think also we forget that Jesus can do wonderfully unexpected things. Do you know, when life is, is dark and difficult and hard and sad, I think sometimes we underestimate how much Jesus can do to help us. We don't expect him anymore to do the unexpected. Just like Jesus' friends on that first Easter Sunday morning didn't expect him to have done anything different and yet he did. So this week as you're tucking into your chocolate Easter eggs and thinking about that lovely symbol of new life, the eggs, the chocolate eggs are normally hollow, aren't they? Just like my egg was empty and just like the tomb was empty because Jesus had come back to life. So as you enjoy your chocolate, I want you to think, are you trusting Jesus to do unexpectedly wonderful things in your life.